My name is Alex Kreis. I am one of the veterinarians at Bonnerong Wildlife Hospital. In this video, I'll show you how to collect blood from avian patients. So most of the time we collect blood from birds while they are anesthetized, but there's no reason why you couldn't collect the blood while they are conscious. So as long as someone is restraining them uh, properly, it shouldn't take very long to collect the blood. There are three main vein access that you can use to collect the blood. So the medial tarsal vein is one of the main ones. So that's on the medial area of the leg. And I can use that when I want to do a PCV, total protein, a blood smear, and maybe a blood glucose. So for small amounts, that's a suitable vein for most birds. When I need blood for uh, biochemistry or hematology, so a high volume, I will most often use the jugular vein. So in birds, the right jugular vein is easily accessible. And very conveniently, there is a bald patch on the right side of the neck in most birds where the right jugular vein is readily accessible. So any um, vein where you collect the blood from, uh, make sure that you press with a gauze so that to avoid uh, hematoma formation and continuous bleeding, especially from the jugular vein. And anything in between, I will use the ulnar vein, which is um, on the ventral aspect of the wing at the level of the elbow. I would use the ulnar vein in larger uh, bird species uh, if I need to collect a larger amount and the jugular is not as easily accessible. And in larger birds, I can collect an amount that would be sufficient for biochemistry or hematology. To make the blood smear, I like to use fresh blood. So I place a small drop of blood near the head of the slide. Then with another slide, I form the smear. At Bonnerong Wildlife Hospital, we just use a GIF quick stain. And then we can have a look under the microscope to see if there are any, any parasites or any abnormalities on the red blood cells or on the white blood cells or on the thrombocytes.